Hello and welcome to the Big Cult Fall Season. We have six big shows for you. Cabaret, circus, new plays, music. We have something for your whole family and something for the grown-ups as well. There are local, national, and international artists bringing really incredible performance to your neighborhood. So come and join us at The Culch. Hello, Vancouver. We are Cirque Alphonse and we are oh, coming dude. with oh. Animal. And be ready it's for everybody. Come to see us. Animal, just like the Panto, is a big all-ages show. It's the kind of show you want to enjoy with your whole family. It's a circus show. I'm really excited to see it. Circus, so it's just going to be fun to have an all-ages circus show with music and dance and theater. I really think the best part of it is the multi-generational aspect of it. Cirque Alphonse is a family. They have a farm, and this is a family that made a circus show on their farm featuring them playing the instruments, playing traditional Quebecois folk music. Animal looks like um, a fever dream at the petting zoo, <laughs> and I can't wait. We're really lucky to have them here in Vancouver for the first time. It's so much fun, you're gonna feel so good. Your kids are gonna have a blast. You'll have a fantastic time at Animal. We are Hot Brown Honey. And we're coming to you, Turtle Island, Vancouver! Everybody, make noise! So why are we bringing Hot Brown Honey back for the third time? because it's that sensational of a show and people have been asking to see it again. And it's the remix. So that means that half the show are new acts that Vancouver's never seen before. I haven't been in the theater with that many people being totally blown away ever. It's incredible. Every time Hot Brown Honey hits our stages, they turn our theater into a party and it is the time of your life. It's epic. Hot Brown Honey features world First Nation women smashing stereotypes. They sing, they're circus, beatboxing. The beatboxer is incredible. And it's as close to the thing as we have to the ad an adult only panto, I would oh. say. Yeah, yeah, okay. Awesome. Done. Mm -hmm. They're going to blow the roof off the York Theatre yet again. I just can't even begin to talk about how important and revolutionary this show is. We've done a show by VACT every single year, and this year's no exception. So Bad Parent is the new work by Ince Choi, who is famous for Kim's Convenience, of course, a fantastic TV show as well as stage play. Bad Parent is an honest, no-holds-barred portrait of a young couple trying to navigate through parenthood. You go from single to couple, and that's one thing but then you go from couple to trio, and that's a whole different ballgame. This show's about grown-ups growing up, and, and we sometimes identify with the characters, and sometimes we hate them because we see ourselves in them. There are some really real moments that just kind of come out of nowhere and just hit you really hard, and um, I think that's part of the, the beauty and the, I like to say, wizardry of uh, Ince's writing. This is definitely a story led, created, performed, uh, facilitated by Asian artists, but it's not strictly about us being Asians. It's right. about us being people, right. like our humanity, our, our struggles, our journeys. The profiling and production of something like Bad Parent by Ince Choi, a really important player uh, in Asian Canadian theater. I think is a really wonderful opportunity uh, to invite us to think about um, the important work uh, of Asian Canadian representation. Ultimately, this is what theater is about. This is why we do what we do, that we are trying to find our shared humanity. The cave is 
is a really interesting, moving, complex uh, cabaret piece by John Millard and, of course, the world-famous Thompson Highway. It features four remarkable singers and a live band. It's about a group of animals that flee a vicious forest fire and hide in a cave and they sing songs about their experience and John the MC provides commentary throughout and it's entertaining and tragic. Some people will remember that we had the cave at the digital performance and it was super popular and a big hit and so many people told us I would love to see the show in person, so we're doing it. We talked a lot to, uh, with Thompson about the Garden of Eden story. He expressed how in indigenous cultures they don't have an expulsion story. So an expulsion story like getting thrown out of the garden, right? Like you're denied access to paradise. So that inspired us the idea that we, humans, are kicking ourselves out of the garden and we started to just wonder, what, what, what are animals thinking about our world now? What would they say? And it was all in response to a climate emergency. If these animals could sing, what would they say about their lives and maybe about us too? The 10th anniversary of the East Bend Pento. Of course, we have the big event of the Kulch season, the 10th anniversary of the East Van Panto. This year, it's the Little Mermaid. And we're absolutely thrilled to be able to welcome back you and your family and your friends. I always like to think about the Panto, that we started it because we wanted a show that our kids would want to come and see. <laughs> Everyone else wanted that show too. The year the first uh, Panto came out, I had taken my, my three and a half year old son to another show and he was like, I don't ever want to see a play again. Like that was the longest three hours of my life. And we went to this and he got to stand and shout. It completely transformed what he thought seeing a show was and you know it's like one of those things that adults and kids can both enjoy mm -hmm. on different levels. If you've never been to the Panto you you must go at least once to ex experience it. It's such a unique show to East Vancouver. It is the East Van Panto. It's fun, it's exciting like oh I get to be a part of this um, with everybody, everybody like children, uh, seniors, elders. We are all really into this. We are part of this. We're enjoying yeah. this because we are part of Vancouver as well. We are, yeah. we are part of this story. I'm even tempted not to go back to France see my family just to see the show, but we'll see. <laughs> if you're a first time attendee at the Panto, it won't be your last. Back by popular demand this year, not only will the Panto be live and in person, but there will also be a digital version available. And that means you can share the Panto with your family and friends. This is, of all the shows I've ever done, this is the one I can recommend wholeheartedly to anyone. When the Kulch was first approached to present in my day, uh, we immediately knew that we had to do this project. The Kulch was very much a center for artists in the 80s and 90s when the AIDS crisis was happening. And all of us lost friends, we lost family. We were a part of the story. The Kulch was a part of the story. So. For us, it's essential that In My Day is at the Kulch, and it's also essential that you come and see it. In My Day is a verbatim drama based on 120 interviews of folks who lived through the first 15 years of the AIDS pandemic in Vancouver. The history of HIV AIDS is the history of marginalized communities learning how to survive in a world uh, that is hell-bent uh, on their destruction, on their neglect. Uh, and so, uh, you know, this is a history uh, that we are telling through this play. If you're dealing with the first 15 years of HIV in the region, there's a lot of loss. 
It's also a, a great amount of celebration and, uh, and love and humor. In My Day uh, is a story not only of white gay men, uh, it's also a story uh, of racialized indigenous and black communities, a story about uh, women and the important role that women played. To have lived through and survived the AIDS and HIV epidemic in the 90s would be saying something, but to hear their stories and to really find out their struggles and their challenges, it's going to be an amazing story. I couldn't be more delighted that the show is at the Kulch because it, it feels uh, in a sense like a, an important cultural home uh, in my life. Come and join your family, your friends, your neighbors at the Kulch. Enjoy some incredible performance. It's only possible with you.